scungy looking bullets you got there, Dad. Yeah, looking a bit dodgy, aren't they? They'll be right. A little bit dodgy. Yeah, we're going in there, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a walk and see if we can find something to shoot. Yep, just on the farm. We were supposed to be going deer stalking, but the weather is now going to be 21. Is it 21 mils? Uh, we're going to be getting like 50 mils in the next like two hours. So yeah. It'll be very moist. And the clothes on the clothesline, we've been trying to dry it for four days and we just get it dry. And then one of us forgets to take it and the rain comes again. And currently my son is taming the rodents around here. So this is my son, everybody, and he has become, well, what can I say? He's deteriorated quite badly. He's gone from being an awesome son to one that's now harboring criminals. Tell us about your criminal son. What have you done? Um, I've captured a mouse. Yes. And named it Jarvis. And made it into a pet. I'm keeping it in a box in my bedroom and feeding it duck food. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. And now what are you going to do? Catch another one to keep it company. Oh. oh, no. We need to sort of work a little bit on the rodent pet thing. Good luck with catching. If you can make a trap that can catch them, I'm all for that. But we do have a wecker on the property that needs feeding, so see if we can catch some live baits. That'll be cool, feeding the wecker. Weckers are rodents. Weckers are not rodents. Weckers are native birds in New Zealand. Weckers are rodents. Yeah, well, okay, where I live... My house on the west coast. In the west coast. Yep. With my friends. Yep. Is we leave one door open. Mm -hmm. Weka walks all the way up the stairs into my room and shits in there. Are you serious? All over the carpet. Yeah. Seriously. Every day. Every day. So what you mean is they're pests, not rodents. Yeah. Because rodents have teeth. Yeah. She was a pest. Yeah. On, on the west coast, they are considered a pest, aren't they? Yeah. One day I'll probably catch more of them in my possum traps than I do possums. Don't say that, sweetheart. Yes, oh, yeah. we're going to go and shoot a rabbit or a hare or try to because our deer stalking trip has been cut short. The weather wasn't supposed to do this, it just changed in the last day. So we'll see how we get on with my daughter. She's actually a really good shot. She's got the 1 7. Savage. It? Savage 1 7, and it's a stainless. She's shooting, uh, I think it's 19 grain bullets, plastic tip. Keep your mag out of it for now. Oh, you got the stainless, but like rusty bulb. Yeah, yeah, it's not supposed to go rusty. And it's also got the gun protection stuff on there, ksh, ksh, squirt on it and it's gone rusty, I don't know why that is, bloody savage, I paid a thousand bucks for that, Data shot a lot of game with it, so we'll see if we can get something, but we're not going to hold our breath because it's midday and there's not many rabbits and hares out at midday, you never know though, with our luck, with our luck, the way the things have been going lately, went away last week in the bush and just got a wet ass. Mm -hmm. oh Bruno's decided to come, we don't want you coming rabbit shooting with us mate, hey? You go back into the house. Come on. Where you go. Bruno, you go home. Where you go. Go on. But I want to come with you. Bruno, where you go. Come on, back to your box. Up here. Come on, way up there. Go on, up there. Where you go. Bruno, that's not over there. Bruno, come. You're not coming for a hunt, mate. Where you go. Where you go. Where you go. Where you go. Come on, where you go. Where you go. Come on, where you go? No, 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 no. Where you go? Come on, where you go? Up there. Good boy. Where you go? The rain's coming in. The rain's coming in. Oh, great. You stay there, Bruno. You stay. You stay, okay? Well, we've got to be careful, sweetheart, because the neighbour's picking apples right now. We don't want to uh, upset anybody with that firearm. It's pretty loud, the old 17. The science does nothing because of the speed of those bullets coming out of it. We'll see if we can see something on Murray's paddock. Bruno, where you go? <laughs> One word from me. He does whatever he likes. You're not supposed to be coming down here, mate. Well, here comes Bob up his driveway. That's going to scare them all away. See anything, hey? No? Nope. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're red ones. Can't eat those. Sometimes you'll get a rabbit just in that bit of grass there, but nothing today. I'm talking about that bit of grass by the lake, just in the corner where that duck's going towards. Sometimes you'll see a rabbit sitting there. What is oh no. It's okay, he hasn't seen us. There's a rabbit just behind about 110, 120 metres down the row. See if Daddy can see it.
keep low, sweetheart. Stay lower than that. You'll scare it. Okay, honey, if you look at that wood pile to the left hand side, you've got a good position. I'll zoom in. Can you see that rabbit? No, I'm just finding him. Have you found it? No. Just, just look at the bottom. I'll tell you when I find it. Oh, there's two. Take a shot again. Load up again, honey. You have had it. You've had it. You've had it. He's down. He's down. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Are you comfortable or not? No. I only take it if you're 100%. He's up, he's up but now. Oh, you got him. You smoked him. You absolutely smoked him. Jeez, that was a long shot. Wicked. Holy shit, that was a good shot. That was a cracker. It was a straight kill. Yeah, Did you hear him absorb it? I What's watched that? him just fall straight over. Absolutely minter. Were you going for a headshot? Yeah. I'm totally I'm going for a headshot. I was like, I don't think so. And she smoked it. Yeah, if you could apply the same to shooting deer, honey, you're going to be a bloody good shot. That was a brilliant shot, that one there. Shot one. Sure was. Oh yeah, you smoked it. You going for heart shot? Only a juvenile. Yeah, the so first one was the heart shot because he was like balled up pretty small, and a head shot would have been pretty like. Yeah. Okay. This is the one you went for the head shot up here. Yeah. Well, because his he was like facing that way but his head was like a tiny bit like turned yep. so if I'd gone for a body shot probably would have gotten quite a bit of front legs and stuff that's a big rabbit he looks untouched well the thing about the 1.7 is it just goes straight through where has it even been shot? <sighs> Might have been neck. I oh, know. Through here? Mm. Completely dead as a doornail. Where has it been shot? It's not oh, here. here. Yeah. Oh, here, okay. So, wait, yeah. maybe through that and out here? Mm, possibly. Yeah, possibly. He was yeah, that yeah. Way. There's, there's, that's the exit wound there. And the ex the that's straight through there. I think it's a neck shot. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's the entry there, is it? Entry there. I'm going to say neck shot on that. So, we will no one take the skin off. Nice shooting. Anyway, that's a long shot. It's a big rabbit. It's a big rabbit, yeah. Well, the other one was a juvenile. So, you want to make rabbit pie today? Oh, that's what I, bring, do. I bring home the bacon, you can do the kitchen work. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> don't think so, honey. I wonder okay. if it's like a baby bird. Is it female or male? I'm not, oh. Just check it out. It's female. I wonder if it's. Nah, it's okay. Because it's quite big. Okay. Take a bite's back legs, honey, so the blood runs out of it. That's the one. And this one I knew I was aiming for more of a... Yeah, you've got a couple to do. Good work. Really it makes the other one look huge, eh? Yeah, it's a juvenile. That's okay. Still can eat it. Be good eating. So what are you going to do? Are you going to make a pie or are you just going to make a rabbit casserole? I don't think we've got enough pastry for pie. We'll see what we've got in the cupboard. So, mate, you decided you'd come back here. That was a good idea, because you would have stuffed up the rabbit hunt. Dad. Yeah? My brother's got serious issues. Okay. Come with me. I don't like the sound of this.
Well, here comes your brother now. He's caught us. Uh oh. He's coming. Data says you've got serious issues. Why? I don't know. She's about to show me. Oh, I've got what heaps I of eggs. Across on my way to getting hydration is a stick lathered in butter. Lathered in butter? Is your butter on this? Yep. No. And then, or some sort of substance. Bucket with um. Oh, that's not going to work. They're not going to jump down there and get that <laughs> sun. <laughs> What's that? No, don't worry. You want to see what? I was going to come in quietly and see if they were actually interested in it at all. Ah, right. And then actually try and make something proper. So we've destroyed your plan. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't see anything when I was coming in. So no. Yeah, but you probably jumped. In. Yeah, actually, it's not a bad idea. So is there butter on this? But there's so much food in here that I'm not even sure they'll actually want to go for any sort of trap at all. Right. So I just wanted to see but if they But there's not much food that's accessible to them, eh? It's oh yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah, they can't get in that though. That's our rubbish. They can't get those. Rats will, but they won't. I've definitely seen mice in that bucket. In the bucket? Yeah. How are they getting in that bucket? I don't know. Jumping. And also the rubbish bag. Okay, well we need a bit of a clean out then. I thought that was hilarious when I saw that. Yeah. I don't think Yana's impressed. He's taking this mouse hunting very serious. Hey, your sister got a couple of rabbits. Cool. <laughs> mm. Bruno's not really that impressed, are you, boy? Honey, you need to skin those rabbits while they're still warm. Come on. This is my open owl, and it's razor sharp. There you go. I have one of these. Oh, you have one, do you? Like a, a bigger one. Is that the one that uh, Ross gave you? Yeah, I've had it for ages, so it's getting a little bit like... Needs a sharpen? Yeah. We can do that for you. Right, whip the skin off these. Good job. Data's already done one, and it was uh, a good shot. She she got right through the engine room there. Only a wee juvenile. Plenty of liver, keeping the kidneys, and she's onto the second one already. I'll film you doing this one, honey, so people know how to do it. The reason we take the legs off is it just makes it easier for skinning. Like something you can't really eat, and the dogs like them as a treat. That's the weight. She's going just above that joint there. And the old meat cleaver makes short work. And after she's done that, she just takes a knife and takes them all off. Tendons are bloody tough, eh? Bruno loves chewing on these. Open our knife's reasonably sharp. Could probably do it with a bit of a touch up. Rightio. So the idea is when you take your skin off is to try to keep the meat off the block if you can. There you go. Got a nice wee hole in there. Fingers in. So you test your strength there, you've got to pull it, pull it apart. There you go. That's the one keeping it off the block. Good girl. This one's a bit big, it's not really coming off clean. That's alright, it's okay. The last one came off a bit better, that's alright though. When you were a younger girl, you couldn't even pull them apart. You've got enough strength now to do that, so there you go. And tear the whole lot off, you can pull out there, put some oomph into it, you'll be sweet as. There you go. Nice. Yeah, it was a neck shot animal, that one. Fine line between pulling too hard and like, I don't know, tearing it open. Yeah, doing you know? well. That's the way. Nice. You can see why we do them while they're still warm. Guys that do this for a profession are right really fast. They can actually do the gutting and everything in one hit. Once you've got the skin off, we'll uh, leave the tail on for now. Good. Okay. You just dropped the guts at the end, did you? Yeah. That was quick. Clean as a whistle, that was fast. Keep all the internal organs for our stew. Definitely kidneys. Now, normally you'd age this for a day or two, but since you're going tomorrow, we're going to stew it. We can cook it, we'll put some vinegar in the pot, and we'll just like break it down. We had duck yesterday and we've saved all the fat. This here is sitting on top of the fat, you can see it in there, that's good. It's a nice jelly. And we're going to cook our rabbit in that, like that fire here. 
crank it. Good girl. She's gone. We're away laughing. We'll heat that up. And now what to do is put your rabbit in there now. What's it's heating up. Put him in the it's dish. A bit fairy. There's a bit of grass in there. That's all right. It's all good, Tucker. Get him in close. It's a little Tetris. Mm-hmm. That's going to sink down and the fat's going to cook it. And we're going to leave this in all day, real slow. Because this animal's just been shot, it's not going to be real tender. What we may do is put a bit of apple cider vinegar on top of it to help it break down. Yeah, put your organ meat in there. Can all go and it's all going to break down. That's good. Excellent. So some good bars have sent me these beautiful keto cereals and I've actually just about chewed this one up and Data's found it. She spotted it. We're just debating whether it's Cecil's or Cecil is. Oh, I think it's Cecil's. What do you think it is, Data? Cecil's. yeah? Maybe. So you're going to make yourself a Cecil's keto I am. lunch, are you? Yeah. Okay, going on here, sweetheart. Bit of kefir. And this is our apples off our tree. And you've got some of that stuff. Cecil's. Cecil's. Oh, we've got the hemp protein muesli. I'm looking forward to that. Can we get some cream in there oh, too? Yeah. Okay, it's well, bit it's of cream. It's not quite keto because of the apple. What about smashing a strawberry in there or two? You reckon or not? You put more cream in that for me. I don't mind a bit of cream. Ooh, I'm good? Yeah. Do we need strawberries in there or not? There's not heaps of strawberries out there. Okay, did you eat them, did you? <laughs> okay, there was. Hmm. That's really nice. <laughs> so us human beings we evolved through hunting and gathering collecting and foraging and we also had great periods of time where we didn't eat today however we have fridges we have little tupperware containers full of snacks food everywhere so you can fuel all the time and your body never ever learns how to burn fat fat is a fuel and our bodies have evolved so we can store that fuel and generally uh around the tummy or the butt that's where we store it as a fuel source and that's where it's stored for a time when you go into ketosis or when you're fasting the trouble is today people don't do that they just constantly eat and that's why we have obesity diabetes type 2 it's nine o'clock at night this has been cooking in the slow cooker all day the rabbit of Dayla's. she's put some carrot in here and i'm going to add a few more bits and pieces we're going to stew that a bit longer in the duck fat it's just got carrot and not much else in it, really. <laughs> it's actually really nice. They make a great soup, this rabbit soup. What have I got down in the fridge that I can add to it? Oh, I've got celery and I've got onion, yes. Just a bit of onion in, but I'm actually going to put another one in. Heaps and heaps more. I'm going to put in just a couple of bits of celery because it's quite a strong flavour. And I've got these mushrooms. I'm going to put them in as well. With the celery, I'm going to put the whole lot in. Like the heads, everything. Smash it in. Not going to waste any of that. Cut each mushroom into quarters. Mushrooms on top. I'm going to put some salt in there. Quite a bit of it. It's up until now. It's only a little bit. It's a big stew. All the bones we'll pick out later on. I'm going to give these veggies about oh, probably half an hour, then turn it off. And the heat in the cast iron camp oven will continue cooking it slowly, but not too much. And we'll sit there overnight. Tomorrow we'll take the bones out. Most of the bones by now are actually at the bottom. It's going to be a real nice rabbit stew. Do you want a bone in there, sweetheart? I'll just pull it out. Yeah. Mm. If you were making this yourself, we didn't have time, but normally you'd put your meat in the pan first. You could put some flour in it like we did. That keeps the moisture sealed inside. We were in a hurry today because we were going somewhere, so we just smashed it all in the slow cooker. But you could braise it or put it in the pan. That seals the meat. Or put a bit of flour and browns it, and it does add flavour. We haven't done that here. The duck fat definitely has added to the flavour because rabbit's quite a fatless meat. Doesn't have a lot of fat in it. Do you like the fat in that, honey? The duck fat? Yeah. Mm, it's super good. Yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your family, your hunting. 
you're in gathering, however it's going out there for you. Be good, can't be good, be careful, we'll see you next video. You're gonna scoff this and hit the road, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Awesome shooting yesterday. That's good. Next time you come back, I'll get you to knock a few more bunnies over for me. Mm. You can, because your shooting's so accurate. No, meat got wasted. I think we lost one leg out of two rabbits. Yeah, we've got leg, eh? Mm. That's a bloody good rat for two rabbits. Mm. Yeah, neck shot, one like, heart we shot. We were eating some of that leg. It was just like... Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna... mm. Delicious. What's that, a bone? Yeah.